and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Video Guide. Today, I'm doing another market talk. Now, I know I did one yesterday, but I didn't really do one yesterday. I recorded that a few days ago. But I actually ended up saving it to post for yesterday. I didn't mean to, but with the way videos were looking and the way timing was with Funday football and everything, I figured I'd be better off to hold the video. I ended up releasing yesterday, but the market continues to crash. So I feel like I should keep going over a few more tips and stuff regarding it and going over the prices because clearly things are still coming down in price. It's really not changing them. I mean, it is changing. It's not staying stagnant. I mean, we got part two coming out. So expect a few more market talks in the next few weeks going over everything as things continue to come out the market continues to go down and obviously the bats are going to greatly change the landscape at some point when the next thing that comes out that requires bats that like someone likes it's going to change the bats landscape which the market should come back up but for the time being it keeps coming down because at the point there's really nothing there's no use for bats besides getting more of those players so people aren't really buying bats to get more of those players back but if they release like a blitz promo or something it could greatly change the landscape so i sent it over to the auction block to go over this, you know, one by one, the way we like to do it, guys. But before we get into this video, if you are new to the channel, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on that noty bell, boys. We're about 500 subs away from 11k. Let's keep grinding. Let's keep growing. Let's get to 20k by Christmas, boys. Run up that subscribe button. Make sure to comment down below what you guys are doing with the market and what do you think is going to happen? Do you think when the promo keeps continuing, prices have come back up because more bat, more things and bats to use on? You think it can go back down more? What do you guys think? What are you guys working with on the market? And if you haven't already, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, boys. Get this video to 200 likes loyal og make sure to smash that like button now coming over to the 80s 81s obviously they are flooded by most feared and mud hero cards they're going to be flooded so it's bad it was bound to happen we're at that point in the year like i don't know if you guys have played madden long enough but like every year in madden there's always that like one promo that releases a lot of certain cards and certain overalls and for the rest of the year you can never search that overall up again like 81s are going to be so hard to always find base because they're going to be flooded by 100 most feared 100 mud hero cards there's always that one position that gets flooded by a certain card and this is one of them 7k for an 81 you guys already know 81s are going to be very cheap for the rest of the year for like at first they were like 11 12k but they're not coming back up to that it's gonna be very hard now 82s 82 to 83 15k these don't move too much it's kind of stay in their range they know they're rolling man 82s are weird right 81s are like the bottom bear and the 82s are like almost bottom barrel but they're not they're not really touched too much they're 19k it's looking like for 83s right here and then 15k for 82s I don't recommend these cards to use. I don't recommend these cards to, to pick up. There's a few budget beasts within here, which obviously exclude that rule. But other than that, 82 to 83 is kind of useless in my opinion. 84 to 85 though. There's some decent options here, especially with the most feared. You can pick up some pretty good budget beasts here, and they're really, really cheap. These were 40K, and they've come down quite a bit. Now they're 26K. A great guy to pick up would be like Tevin Coleman. 89 speed, 88 agility. That is a budget beast right there at running back. I go online, I played weekly, and a few people are running this guy with like a god squad that had him as their running back. Marcus Cannon, not too great. Decent run blocking right tackle. And then obviously, with the prices being this low on these guys, remember if any kind of thing with bats come out, these will greatly shoot up. So make sure you're staying on top of that. Make sure you're, you're watching the market here and there, seeing what content's coming out. Because if something does drop regarding bats, the landscape is going to change greatly. I trust me, it's going to skyrocket if something comes out with bats. But we don't know yet. I'm assuming they have to because what that's kind of what they always do with new currencies. They introduce something you could use it on. It'd kind of be dumb to not do that. I've never seen this new Kyler Murray. How are his stats? Oh, they're still ass. Okay. It's going over. Speaking of guys, we also got the new team of the week today, so make sure you watch that video. It will be coming out around like 10.50 Eastern time in the morning after the stream. Uh, let's see. The 86s, they were kind of flooded by Mud Heroes. Let's check out Veterans. That's the best way to always check out these values for me. Where are the veterans? They look like they're 49k for 86s. 87s are about 61k, 60k. I don't really like 86, 87. Now the 86, 87s are like expensive enough to, to kind of want them, but then like they're so close to like the 88s and 89s, you kind of just were better off staying there. It's kind of what I'm. That's kind of the point I'm at with these cards. Now let's come over to the 88s, 89s. Get them nice and early in this video. So again, these have been flooded by most fear. Now guys, a pretty good tip here is that these most fear cards go for like 60k. When the series converts and they convert back to training and these cards don't quick sell for bats, they're going to have to come back up in value because people, if these were to stay at 60K, right? Everyone would just buy them out right away and use them as the cheapest training value in the game because the next nearest 88s go for like 80K. So essentially, if you just buy a few of these and you wait till the end of the series comes out or the end of the uh, promo comes out, then you can, they'll convert back to training quick sell and you can just sell them for like 85K depending on what 88s are going for. 
Uh, that's kind of like the trend that happened last year. Pretty much if you bought cards during promos that went for a lot less than what the training value dictated, they would fly up in value right afterwards. So that's how I made 10 million coins last year during the Christmas promo with having like 35 Ed Reeds that went from 300K to 500K in literally over in like a few days from when they changed over the promo. Just, I re, I'd definitely be checking these out. I don't know if there's any 89 most of it. I do not believe there are. So let's head back over to, let's head over to, I think Legends would be a good place to look for these. So see, typically the 88s go for like, see some of them are 90K right there. Flashback's probably like 85K. They're gonna go back up quite a bit when the time does come. 89s, still rocking with low, low hundreds for 89s. That's pretty much where they're gonna sit at. Let's head on over to the 90s. I, I like looking at the 90s and 91s, obviously. That's kind of where my team's at, so it's a good spot for me. The 90 Legends actually have come up quite a bit. Now, I don't imagine this lasting. Wait till Legend Saturday, but like these cards, Jerry Rice, if you guys are watching, was like 135, 140 at a point last week. So that was people overreacting to the most fear promo dropping. If they keep dropping more heat with the most fear coming for, with part two, or part three, or should I just say the next two big sets they're going to drop? If those are really, really good, people are going to start selling off the Legends again. Not to mention Legend Saturday. I picked up some solid guys. Guys, be checking out the Legend Market. Whenever things drop, with most feared or the let or the uh, legend saturday people start selling off their old legends to replace them and i got guys like brian dawkins for low 200k i got guys like anthony munoz for mid 100k like really really good prices for still solid like i said brian dawkins still the best free safety powered up in the game and i got him for a cheap price because everyone thinks like oh i gotta pick up all the most weird cards they, it's just it's an awesome thing to do guys definitely be on top of that champ bailey i mean you guys could pick him up if you want an athletic corner but i would wait I personally want Deion Sanders. Champ Bailey every year is a poor man's Deion Sanders. It's kind of a, he's like not even a poor man because he's still expensive. He's pretty much a, I'm gonna call him a dumb man's Deion Sanders. Unless you're unless you're on a, if you're on a Broncos theme team, Champ Bailey's probably better than Deion Sanders because of all the upgrades he'll get and all the chem boost he'll get. But other than that, I stick with him. And then Ed Reed, it really sucks. I'm a big Ed Reed fan. I love Ed Reed every year. But the issue is when you're at the same position as Pat Tillman, it's gonna be very hard to use you because he's not gonna have the same hit power anywhere close to it. And Pat Tillman also beats Ed Reed in the one thing Ed Reed's good at, being his own hawk. He made Pat Tillman that good. So it's definitely definitely hard to justify that. Let's head on over out of Legends real quick to see what else we can see in the 1991 uh, range. We obviously have, to, oh, the Mud Heroes have crashed bad. Now the reason the Mud Heroes crashed so bad is pretty simple. Uh, EA had to do those make rights where they gave us hundreds of thousands of training. Like literally as a community whole, they definitely gave out millions to billions of training to uh, if you combined everyone who got them. So that influx of millions of training people were able to use on the Mud Hero uh, set in the store or any of the, the bad stuff which that could take training or anything. So pretty much with all that going on, they gave us so much training that everything had to kind of come down to value because people were able to get so many of these cards. People were converting their training to Mud Heroes for coins. They're coming up a little bit. They were like 145 a few days ago. So definitely have come up a little bit since then. I was able to pick up Jalen Ramsey for 185K when that first happened. And I was super hyped about it. Now he's 270. I could end up reselling him again, getting coins back. And once I finish those solos, I get him for free. So definitely, definitely helped me out a lot. I'm kind of glad to get all those make rights. I picked up so many cheap cards after those make rights happened. Again, the Legends too. That kind of that kind of would help with the market crashing was all the free stuff they gave us. Now... Guys like Saquon are still going to be up there because obviously the best the best three guys in this promo were Saquon, Ramsey, and Castro. So they're always they're going to retain value throughout this promo. And the only other guy that was pretty good was Jamal Adams, but the issue with Adams is that we have Pat Tillman, so people haven't really paid too much attention to him. Now coming over to the 90s, 93s. You know what I see this set? I see the 90s, 93 filter as I'll wait for you for next series. Like you, when these cards are out of uh, out of promo, they're going to be nice and cheap. Like these legends will come down next series. Let's see, all the way up here, Calvin will get a Redux, Gronk will get a Redux, Thomas will get a Redux, Bell will get a Redux, Moss will get a Redux, Donald will get a Redux, Sanders will get a Redux. I see these guys as I will buy you when you're a pink card and you are hella cheap. That's kind of what I'm waiting for here. Now, as far as the most fair card, guys, I have told you, I wouldn't recommend you guys go all in on this, but like I said about the whole training thing, if these cards get down to like low 200Ks and you buy them, essentially when they do come out as a training option, they probably could be going for like 350K as a quick sell. Uh, worth the training so people will probably end up buying these out and they'll probably go up in value like i said it won't be as dramatic as the ed reeds because last year when i did it with ed reeds he was going for like 280 300k because people were uh because snow wasn't valued anymore valuable anymore because the promo was over but i picked up so many ed reeds for 280k 300k and i had so many ed reeds from the presence i had like maybe 30 to 35 ed reeds and ended up reselling them for like 550k each i think so after reduction like 500k which get, which netted me a profit of about 200k per ed reed so 200k times 30 and you guys can do the math on that plus i had plenty of other cards i had like 20 sam darnold's i had like 20 hayden hurst i i spent maybe 4 million coins 5 million coins into them and i ended up leaving with like 10 to 15 million coins it was crazy it felt unreal guys 
I wouldn't recommend you guys go all in on these just yet because we don't know how these will react just yet. But I imagine they'll react similarly. 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 I can't say that word. Wow, Ray Lewis for 330k. That's upsetting. Let's go check that out. Is that a good price for him? That's ridiculous. Ray Lewis for 330k. I feel like I should, should I buy that. I should probably buy that, right? A 93 overall for 330k. Wow. That's unreal, guys. I really do not like where this market's heading. I don't know why Ray Lewis is so cheap already. Kind of upsetting. But, I mean, if I bought that with reduction, I'll make back exactly the same. And I don't think it'll come down for quite a bit. And I kind of want to have the coin. So, that does kind of suck. But, guys, that is about it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, go down below. Hit that subscribe button, boys. Turn on that noti bell. Come join the family. Comment down below what you guys are doing and what you think the market and how it's trending is going. Comment that all down below. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Let's get this video to 200 likes. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.